Okay, so I was just about to uh, check and see if my 3GS has an old boot ROM and the new boot ROM. And uh, I decided to make a video because I know it's a pretty popular question. So anyway, um, here are the instructions. Uh, connect your iPhone to your computer. I've done that. Turn your iPhone off. I've done that. Start iTunes. I've done that. And so a whole power button and home buttons for 10 seconds or longer together for 10 seconds. And then release the power button, but keep holding the home button until your computer recognizes a new USB device. So... I'm going to do that. So I'm going to hold power and home at the same time for 10 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to let go and hold the. Uh... Okay, that might be it. It says recovery mode. All right, so it's recovery. It did this last time, said recovery, but okay. So this time it has like a an logo of iTunes with the blue, you know, with the blue, you know, the blue circle with the uh, music notes on it, and it has you know the chord and then the arrow pointing to that. That's what I see on my screen on my iPhone right now, um, and that definitely is recovery mode because I said if you're if it's in DFU mode then the screen's going to be black, which I had the first time, but iTunes said I was in recovery mode. So now i got to do it once again and get back into DFU mode, which I was before. So anyway, I guess it's good this happens so you guys know what not to do. Or you know that iTunes throws you off when it says it's in recovery mode. It's not. If your screen is black, it's in DFU mode, even though iTunes will say it's in recovery mode. The way you'll know the difference is if your screen of your iPhone has a, <coughs> a, blue, icon, a blue icon, a blue circle, with notes in it, you know, iTunes based, iTunes icon basically, um, on it with an arrow pointing up to it and a cable below that, you know, like a USB cable. That's on your screen on the iPhone if you're in recovery mode, which I'm in now, so I'm gonna have to redo it. Okay, so I'm gonna click OK here and then I'm going to turn off the phone. Okay, phone's off. As you can see, it went off and now it's rebooting again. So I'm just going to pause this video and then start it up once this I get my phone off again. Because right now it's booting up. Okay, I'm back. Phone is off. So let's go. I'm going to hold down the power button and the home button for at least 10 seconds together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Well, I don't have to count. Okay, so it says, it says it's in recovery mode. However, that's a lie because the screen is black on the iPhone. So I'm going to do that. Screen is still black on the iPhone. All I do is to go up to hit the, you know, the background of your screen. So you have the find. Well, you can hit the finder bottom left to a finder. Go to go. Go to utilities. Go down. Yeah, okay, I'm, my battery's about to die. Okay, go down to System Profiler, which is right here. Go down to USB. And then you're going to go down to Apple. Ooh, awesome. Okay, see right here? This right here is the boot ROM. And I have the old boot ROM. 359.3 is the old boot ROM. 359.32 is the new boot ROM. So I actually have the old boot ROM, which is awesome. Because now I can unlock it and not and jailbreak it. And it can be... Untethered, which means even if my phone restarts, I don't have to hook it back up to, to keep the jailbreak. Okay, that's it. Short and sweet. Enjoy.